Off the grid is super fun for us and for some people it's pretty gnarly. <laughs> My name is Nathan Stewart, and I'm the owner and operator of Legends Overlanding in Baja, California. We love running overland adventures here because the extreme remoteness allows our customers to disconnect from their busy lives back home. However, the same remoteness can create challenging and sometimes dangerous situations for the few inhabitants of this region. Many times there is no one coming and no way to get a message out. Our plan involves installing several repeaters across one of the largest cell service dead zones in North America. Once completed, we will be able to use Midland handheld radios to communicate across the 50 mile stretch of peninsula from the Sea of Cortez to the Pacific Ocean. This endeavor poses several challenges. First, it's mid-June in Baja's central desert with average summer highs exceeding 90 Fahrenheit. Additionally, the terrain presents difficulties. We will be installing these repeaters on mountains that lack direct access or trails. To reach these locations and install the equipment, we will rely on off-road trucks, hiking, and pack animals. And lastly, none of us are radio experts or electricians. After months of collecting gear and coordinating with Midland, Zamp Solar, and Victron, we had to build a team on the ground to install the repeaters. Vanessa was raised on the Sea Cortez in Bahia de Los Angeles. She lives full-time off-grid and with no cell service. Mauricio is the owner and operator of Lost in Baja and has been guiding people on amazing trips up and down the peninsula for more than a decade. Okay, we are here. This is La Bocana. The, this cabin is going to be our base camp for the next couple days. It's nice because it's right in the middle of the peninsula. What's the plan tomorrow for you, Vanessa? I am going to go with a horse and a cowboy, and we're going to tackle the mountain that's on the west. Perfect. Mal? I am taking the raptor. I'm going to the east, and I guess we'll be ready by noon. Should we be done by noon? Yes. And you're taking the raptor? I am. I think I'm going to go with Mal. Sorry. Yeah. Let's go. That sounds like a great plan. <laughs> Good morning. So we just finished packing the horse. Really excited to get out in this desert. So we just got through the valley. We're still making progress, got good time, and we're going to start to summit now. I'm going to check in on Nathan to see how that's going. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. Hello. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Como vas? Good. Making progress. How about you? Yeah, we're almost we're almost on the top of the mountain. Almost on top of the mountain? Mal, we need to get up. Yeah, we're 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 close. Hurry up, Mal. How's the horse? Well, we're nowhere near, I can tell you that much. Getting all set? Yeah, we're getting all set legs or feet are the same size so they need to buy different I sizes. imagine they go smaller towards the back. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. So you probably start with like a size eight, eight and then move back to like a three. Vanessa, can you hear us on your horse ride? I think we're probably out of range. I think so. Well, that was the wrong road. I don't know about turning around here without getting stuck. Let's try. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay, well, we're stuck. We lost radio contact with 
Vanessa about 20 minutes ago because we can only do line of sight with the handhelds and we haven't installed repeaters yet. This is no big deal, we got the winch, we're gonna get ourselves out, but this is exactly why we're putting in repeaters so that people in situations like this in remote places in central Baja would be able to get help if they were in something much more serious than this. I just need you to make sure that crappy tree holds. Okay, it's ready. Okay, Nathan, we're clear. I did that. I'll start bringing in the slide. We made it. We are finally at the top and ready to start installing the repeater. <laughs> Test it out. Nathan, Nathan. Nathan, Nathan. Well, gonna start heading down and I don't know. I wonder what they're doing. Oh. Think we should get going? Yeah. So you probably start with like a size eight, eight? and then move back to like a three. Like, like this But do you range. think it's like a three Mexican or European or a three American? Well, that's a whole nother problem. It was super nice, this road in the area. And then uh, we stopped with a big gap. What do you think? Uh, I think we need a horse. Hmm. I think we're walking. So... Bad news, we needed to get all the gear out, the big panel, the battery, the antenna, the cable, all the setup. So we start walking up. And then we're looking at the, the onyx and uh, the elevation gain. We got 500 feet we gotta do, and it's late afternoon. And so, uh, yeah, we were a little bumped. It'll get easier. This battery's not gonna get any lighter though. Uh, do you think Zinnipid use Crocs? Didn't they like Crocs? Everybody or? uses Crocs. <laughs> everybody, everybody that like finds. Are we at 500 feet yet? I feel like that should have been it. We just got to get to where we can see the Sea of Cortez. So uh, the panel was like a sail. It was like the wind was very strong, so it was a bit challenging. Okay, we're here. Sea Cortez. We got a high mountain off to the west. So the idea is Vanessa should have her repeater up. We're gonna get this up and we're gonna try to call her. I don't know if you can hear me, this wind is crazy, but um, here we go. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if our repeater just isn't really working or if something happened to them. We got the repeater hooked up. Yeah? Yeah. Good to go? No. We're gonna try to contact Vanessa. I'm confused as to... Vanessa, 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 Vanessa. Hello? I think we got it working. Nice hearing from you. <laughs> oh man. It yeah. worked. We can hear you. That's unbelievable. We took longer than we thought. Um, we're going to head down the hill and uh, see you back at the cabin. Hey, yeah, it sounds a bit windy. Can you do Over the next few days, our team ascended two more mountains to install repeaters. The last test was to determine if we could achieve a GMRS radio signal across a 50 mile stretch spanning from sea to sea for the first time ever. It would be weeks before we would know if it had worked. Okay, Marcos, ya vamos de regreso, cambio y fuera. Marcos, 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 ya vamos de regreso, no hubo nada por acá. Ahí nos avisas cómo te fue por allá, cambio. Sí, todo bien aquí, aquí estamos en la mona. Está haciendo mucho calorcito. Está calorcito más o menos, pero todo bien. Todo está bien. Bueno, bueno, a ver si me escuchas. Buenos días. Pero vamos a empezar al 20. Cambio y fuera. Ok, enterado, pues ahí estamos pendientes. Cambio y fuera. 